I'm Mark Sherman. I cover the Supreme Court for the Associated Press. The Supreme Court on Wednesday heard arguments in a case involving congressional redistricting in South Carolina. Redistricting is redrawing of uh, electoral boundaries and it follows the census uh, every 10 years. Back in 2022, South Carolina drew a new congressional map in which, among other things, it changed a district that was narrowly carried by Republican Representative Nancy Mace in the 2020 election and made it a much safer district for Mace and other Republicans. The problem in the view of the black voters who sued was that the state improperly moved black voters in and out of Mace's district, which is in Charleston and other areas of coastal South Carolina. A lower court agreed with the challengers it struck down the, uh, the congressional district as a racial gerrymander, and it ordered new districts drawn. That was put on hold so that the state could appeal to the Supreme Court, and that's the case in which the justices heard arguments on Wednesday. The court's six conservative justices seemed very skeptical of the lower court ruling and seemed likely to preserve the Republicans' hold on Mesa's district. Now, any district in this environment is uh, very precious to both parties because the margin of control in the House of Representatives is so thin. Republicans have a narrow majority. Mace, of course, was one of eight Republicans uh, who voted recently to oust Kevin McCarthy as Speaker. When she was elected, she was elected in what would be known as a toss-up district. Uh, she ousted a Democratic incumbent very narrowly. Uh, now she represents a much more robustly Republican district. It is possible that if the court does uh, uphold the lower court ruling and order the district redrawn, that Democrats could be much more competitive uh, in it. Uh, but there's no guarantee of that. And Republicans who control the legislature would probably have another chance to, to draw districts before uh, a court uh, ordered a map drawn.